The Trouble Toys 1144 scale RG RX93 New Gundam Conversion Collector's Kit. This thing is actually very sweet, and I'm going to admit to you, I'm sure you all know if you're on my channel, I'm not a fan of 1144 scale, unless it's a huge kit. Dendrobium, or Niels Young, or Niels Long, or whatever the hell you call it, or pronounce it. That's the only time I'm interested in 1144 scales, when they're absolutely massive. Because I hate tiny pieces. I despise them. They're pain to paint. They're easy to lose. It's just a nightmare, but for some reason, people like this size. So, after seeing the Trouble Toys new Gundam, I thought to myself, why not? You know, a resin conversion of this kit actually looks cool, and for those who pay attention, my favorite Gundam is New Gundam and High New Gundam. Those are the two big ones for me. I admit I like Crossbone Gundam, but it's a little on the tiny side. Hopefully, Model Bingo makes a 172nd scale crossbone Gundam so it could be a decent size but that's just a whistler. Uh, what comes in this box is the usual stuff. You know it's nicely packaged but when you open it up um, everything's in a Ziploc bag. Like what? <laughs> like I'm guessing since the parts are so small I guess there's no danger of them being broken and shipping but this seems a little bit you know, under normal circumstances, a recipe for breakage, in my opinion. There aren't many parts here, so actually doing this conversion kit would be fairly quickly... Would be fairly quick and simple. The real catch-22, I guess you could say, is the photo etching. If you really want the fin funnels to stand out, you're gonna have to use the photo etching parts. And maybe the photo etching parts on the vents and stuff like that. Some of them are cool. The rest you don't really need with this kit because, you know, usually photo etches are for plain Jane vanilla builds. Usually, in my opinion, you can add them to your resin build and really take it up another step. But usually, is it worth the distress and struggle? I don't know. But thankfully, it comes in this kit and it's fairly well priced if you can find one. Usually, they're about $70. I guess they get you with the shipping when you think about it. Overall, the parts are very clean, well casted. It looks fantastic, actually. There's probably so little cleanup work needed for this that I don't even know what to tell you, honestly. If you're interested and can find one, I'd probably recommend it. Though I haven't built it yet, so I probably shouldn't be recommending anything till I deal with it. But I'd say if you like New Gundam, you do resin conversion kits, and you like the RG, this might be worth a purchase for really taking it to that next level as far as detail goes. Because frankly, from what I'm told, the RG New Gundam is worthy of this level of detail. And supposedly, it's better than the Master Grade, which I guess wouldn't be saying too much considering the MG New Gundam came out how many years ago? The Verka, I'm not even talking about the first MG New Gundam. That's not even on my radar, if you know what I'm saying. Well, that should do it for me. It's a quick little unboxing, checking out these little parts. And I will sniff you later. Adios, pichachos.